Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, sitting absolutely still on the bridge before the tunnel. Complete standstill. Been here for probably going on 10 minutes. Oh, and it just came up and said, 10 minute delay. So this is number four at my attempts to film video since I left this morning. The first three had various stages of road rage in it, so I just decided to get rid of that. But the last one, I was talking all about the WWDC announcements and all that shit. And I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. So I'm sitting here watching Marcus Brownlee's video and learning a lot more, which pretty much made all the shit that I say null and void because Dumb Monkey doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. So yeah, looking forward to a lot of the shit that's coming up. I'm not even halfway through his video though. And probably before we ever even start moving again, I could, I could, you know, get through the entire video. And remember, I'm not watching, I'm only listening. All right, so yeah, I'm on my way to Maryland and I was gonna be plenty early. Now, in all likelihood, I'm gonna be late, especially because we're not moving. So yeah, this is real fun. Uh, it's gonna be a nice day today at the very least, so at least I can drive in the sun. Tomorrow, not sure about that, because when I looked at the forecast, it showed that it was going to be almost 90, and it was also going to be thunderstorming. I didn't look into that, really look into it, because it doesn't make a difference. It's going to be what it's going to be. And I always check Virginia Beach. I don't check up the entire coast. And since I'm going up to Maryland, you're way above there, it, it could be completely different. I mean, hell, when I drive through the tunnel, it's completely different. So... We'll see what happens. I'm not really concerned one way or the other. And even if I were concerned, not a damn thing I can do about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a real quick, I don't know, intro to this video because I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I don't know what else you're gonna get today. Probably not much. And I'm certainly gonna try to cut out as much road raging as I can, but the road rage is strong today. Let's sit here with our thumbs up our butts and wait for traffic to actually start moving again. Okay, kids, a uh, much different day up here in Maryland. It is overcast and it's going to rain. A very, very stormy clouds overhead. I doubt that I will even get to my second meeting before it starts raining. Just had my first meeting, which was fine. And I just had to go to Whole Foods to go pay. And that place is a nightmare. Otherwise, I'm kind of hungry. All I had was that latte this morning and... As usual, I didn't bring any snacks with me, so I'm kind of hungry. And the Whole Foods, like I said, was freaking crazy. There was no way I was going to wait in all those lines that long to like grab a keto bar or a bag of nuts or something like that. Onward to the next meeting, then I should have some time before the meeting after that. There's usually a, a good bit of time in between, and I, I should be able to just go grab something to eat like a normal human being, right? I am not looking forward to the fact that it, it definitely is going to storm. I was hoping that I would at least have today where it wouldn't be crappy out, but wah. All right, kids, it's now full on raining. It's 2.37, I'm on my way to my last meeting for the day. And like I said, if I got to the next one, I'd be surprised if it didn't start raining. It did start to rain, but it just very light sprinkles here and there, but now it's full on raining. Wah, wah, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with the rain. Okay, in the meantime, as I was driving, my doctor's office called me to discuss the results of the blood tests from my appointment of a couple of weeks ago. Now, I had already gotten the urinalysis results back and, you know, everything looked normal and there was nothing bad. And also, uh, it showed me that I was in ketosis when I did that. Now, everything's still fine with the blood tests, but it does show me some interesting stuff. So everything that I did this first month-ish of the keto did a good job about causing me to lose weight and, and to think about what I was doing to myself. And the way that I did it, a little bit different than I had done it before, was that this time I went all in on a shit ton of eggs and bacon and sausage and, and a lot of red meat and all that kind of stuff. And whilst that certainly helped to regulate things and help me lose you know, 13 pounds and feel a hell of a lot better. All of that coupled with the massive amounts of sodium, which my wife even warned me about. She said, maybe, you know, and she offered some alternatives for some of the stuff that I was doing, but I'm still having way too much sodium and I'm still having way too much, like not great fat. The bottom line is, is that I have higher cholesterol than I should. 
although it isn't like, dude, you need to freaking stop. Like your cholesterol's through the roof or any of that kind of shit, but it is high enough. And they also suggested that I start exercising 30 minutes a day. Okay, so they didn't tell me anything that I didn't already know, or they didn't set me in a direction that I wasn't already going, but now I have medical proof that my roadmap, albeit a little wonky, is going in the right direction. So now that means that no matter what, I'm going to be walking more every day or doing something you know, in my house if it's like pouring down rain. I mean, obviously I'm on the road, I'm not gonna go for a walk in the rain, which is kind of a bummer because I was looking forward to going you know, back down to the canal here and, and getting some pictures and all that kind of stuff in a, yet a different season. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. Basically, I'm gonna either be going to dinner or I'm gonna be in the hotel. So I'm gonna have exercise time in the hotel, but I'm gonna be walking every day and or doing something. Really what I'm gonna start doing is what I should have started doing like two years ago, is jumping rope every day. That's going to be incorporated into my whole mix of things that I'm gonna do. You know, nothing horrible came back in the blood test or even back on the urinalysis, but it also shows me that I can't eat Still, even though I'm eating healthier, I still can't eat like an idiot, and I have to be very mindful about what I consider healthy and good for me compared to what really is. So I'm already, you know, as I've been driving, I've already been going through all the, the little little changes that I can make to still not necessarily stay keto, but to eat healthier and bring my cholesterol and everything down and also severely limit my sodium because there's freaking salt and everything. It's also why I'm always thirsty because I'm, I'm taking in so much sodium. So we're both on the path now and we're both really looking at what we're eating and we're being a hell of a lot more careful. You know, this just sort of cements it that I need to be very mindful of what I'm eating and what I shouldn't eat and blah, 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 blah. And that's the direction I'm going in. So again, good news from the doctor. There isn't anything like radically awful about my blood tests. You know, just a little bit of a, hey, you kind of got to watch that. So going to be cutting back on the eggs and the red meat. Also massively, massively cutting back my sodium. That's going to have to be by making healthier choices for what I'm throwing into my salads and what I'm spicing up my stuff with. We'll see what happens. There isn't going to be anything exciting after this now that it's pouring down rain and I can't go do anything fun. So I'm just going to end today's video on a high note because I think that's a high note that my blood test came back not all crazy and shit. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.